Hey everybody, Luigi Freak Out 123, come back at you. Wait a minute. Why am I Luigi? Who wants to be player number two? You better be Mario, right? Who wants to be Tito when you could be Michael Jackson? Who wants to be Robin when you could be Batman? I, I don't know. Anyway, I want to thank Tyler and Terry for having me on here. Uh, my name is Will Santana, and I'm a big time movie fan slash video gamer slash a hip hop lover. Man, I love all this type of stuff. I'm a big fan of entertainment and media. Uh, I really want to thank them for having me on here. And uh, today I'm going to give you guys a little something different for Luigi Freak Out 123 episode. Uh, what I'm going to give you guys is my top four video game cameos that are very random in movies. So if a scene includes arcades or you see somebody holding a, a Nintendo controller or um, example when Ghostbusters was holding the, the NES Advantage controller, uh, Wreck-It Ralph or like Mickey Mouse or something like that who has their own video game, they're all excluded. It has to be video game based and it has to be something just very random. It can't be something that just thrown out there so it's so obvious that the audience can see. So we're gonna get into my top four video game cameos that are very rare. Number four, Disney's Toy Story 3. We all remember the scene when uh, Rex was playing with the Super Nintendo with Bo Peep and them. But if you remember in part three, there's a scene where Woody is standing over in uh, Andy's room and if you look closely, look way back there, you might see it. But matter of fact, let's zoom in on it. There you go. You see the Nintendo Wii and a Super Nintendo right below the TV. Oh yeah, so there you go for you uh, Nintendo fans. They gave you guys a little happiness. Yeah, that was pretty interesting. It was something you saw had to really pay attention and close to detail. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people didn't catch that. Like, it was so small in the background. But now we're going to go to number three, which is a, a big time classic in the movie Tron. And no, we're not talking about Tron Legacy. We're going we're gonna to go with the original Tron movie. Now, the original Tron movie was way ahead of its time. The movie didn't do as well and everything. Uh, it, the sales were pretty bad, but the, they were trying so hard with the CG. But if you remember, there's a scene with Sark where he's looking at a monitor. If you look to the far right, there's Pac-Man. And I thought that was really odd to have Pac-Man in that movie, especially in those times. Pretty cool how you got to see uh, Pac-Man in there when uh, Pac-Man hadn't even really came out yet, you know, he wasn't that big yet. He was kind of huge in the arcade, but the video game crash in 1983 hadn't happened yet. And as you know, Tron was way ahead of his time. But let's take you down now to number two with Wayne and Garth in Wayne's World. We remember the movie Wayne World also about two guys who had a TV show in the basement and then eventually moved on to a big uh, studio. But if you recall, when they finally moved to the studio, there's a scene where you can see Sonic in the background. And it was really odd. It had nothing to do with the scene. But there he is, Sonic the Hedgehog. Now that one was very hard to catch. It was so, so small in the background, but it, it was just something that caught my eyes. I was like, man, was that Sonic back there, you know? But now we're gonna take you down to my favorite one, my number one, and we're talking about Back to the Future 2. And no, we're not talking about the scene where he's uh, with Elijah Wood and they're playing with the guns and everything at the arcade place. No, 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 no. I got you for that. Here we go, number one, Back to the Future 2. The Back to the Future trilogy. One thing that always upset me about Back to the Future was I always wanted a hoverboard. They never came out, but I really wanted one so bad. But if you remember in Back to the Future 2, the movie was really about the sports almanac. But if you take a close look in the scene where Marty first sees it, there it is, Jaws and Burger Time NES. Well now I hope you guys found it pretty interesting. Those were my top four uh, video game cameos. You know, I wanted to do a little something different. I didn't want to give obvious choices, you know, like Wreck-It Ralph. You know, it was just too, too, too obvious to see Wreck-It Ralph cameos all over with the Street Fighters and everything. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this. It's a little something different for you guys. Uh, I want to thank Tyler and Terry again for having me on here. I really appreciate it. You know, I hope I can have them do some collabs with me and everything some more often. So uh, I hope you guys stay tuned, enjoy it, like they say, like it down below, subscribe down below, something like that. I hope I didn't mess that up, but uh, uh, y'all have a good one. I appreciate it. I'm outro like a CD. Oh, Tyler, check this out.
Jazz be kicking, man. <laughs>